hi everyone so today let's talk something about controlling module and i'm going to explain the concept of wip and its uh, impact on financial accounting so basically i'm going to document the data flow okay so and for each and every moment or for each and every transaction what will be the impact in your PNL or the balance sheet. So in one side, I will draw here balance sheet format or PNL format. Now this is your PNL, this is your balance sheet. Now let us start. So I'm going to give number for each and every transaction. So this is number one. Let's say we have opening stock of raw material. Uh, which has value of 1000 USD. So, if it is opening balance of your stock, so which is part of your okay, now we are in the first month. Let's say this is the first month. So first we will record a couple of transactions in the gen month and then we'll start in the month of February. Okay. okay, in the first month, uh, let's say we want to manufacture one finished goods, one finished product, and for So for 100 quantity of raw material, the value is 1000 US dollar. And if you want to manufacture a finished product. Okay, so what is the process? Our goods. So like we have internal order, we have purchase order, sale order. Similarly, we also have production orders. Which is part of PP model, PP production planning. And two will be RM top raw material ready. I'll put this accounting entry in a different color. And let us say this one okay, for easy identification. So, when you do the goods issue to the production order, this will be the accounting entry, which is part of your integration. Now, what is the impact of this accounting entry? We are going to account. So I'll put here two. Our consumption, how much? One thousand.
Now what is the balance here? The balance sheet. Balance is zero here, right? It is zero balance left. The balance sheet. And in the PNL, we have 1000 as the expenses. Okay. Now what happens? Now this is the month end. And, and pay amount is saved. Now, what we have to do, or oh, let me put like this they have not received anything. Now, we have to do month end activity. So, during the month end activity, what we are going to do because we are actually we have this uh, raw material which is part of your inventory and which is part of your balance sheet but since we issued the goods now it has been removed from your balance sheet and it is sitting in your PL account right okay but at the month end we need to show this in balance sheet also because it's not uh, if you show only in the profit and loss account then what you will what is the final result it is the loss of 1000 right there is nothing on the credit side and there is 1000 and the debit side so it is it is the loss so this is the expenses and there is no asset right so we need to uh, do the month end activity uh, the accounting treatment for this so it's that is called the WIP calculation. So there are number of activities. So we will just see example of WIP calculation means work in progress or work in process. So what will be the accounting entry for WIP? This will be WIP. We will have two zero account for WIP. One is balance sheet. WIP balance sheet. One thousand debit. I'm not considering any other expenses like labor charges, factory overhead, and all. Just keeping it simple, and we are going to see the impact on the PNL and balance sheet. So the WIP balance sheet account is debit. And WIP, this is my PNL. Uh, PNL jail account. All right, now this is my entry number three. Now let's account this entry here. Now, so we are in the first month, right? And let me put it into the different color. color okay now and this one this as well so how we will account in the penal and balance sheet so wip now wip earlier we had inventory as raw material now wip is also part of your asset only all right so this will become Zero. This would be one thousand, and this is called change in WIP. Basically, the name of the jail is change WIP. So this is what credit, and uh, which is part of P and R, right? It's P and R jail account. So I will put here. This is my transition number three, and here also I'll say WIP change 1000. Now, at the end of month, if you see, there is uh, 1000 debit side, 1000 credit side, so net balance is zero and in balance sheet if you see you have 1000 debit set asset correct which basically if you see 
it is as similar to the first transaction only difference is here it was raw material balance inventory value and now it is wip inventory value all right now let's go to the second month in the second month the transaction number four we have received full quantity of so now what will be the counting entry here let's see stock 1000 debit cogm cost of goods manufacturer which is basically check p and jl account And I'm going to put this also in the same color. Now, what will be impact of this accounting entry here? So this is during the second month. Okay, so FG stock is what? This is my balance sheet. So what I'm going to do here, number four. FG stock okay and this one second line item is part of pnl and this is credit so i'll mention here for cogm 1000 i can put formula here so now we have debit how much 1000 credit 2000 fine now this is the month end this wip which we have calculated earlier again we need to run the wip but this time since there is no wip so system is going to reverse this accounting entry yes well, and two is my wip balance sheet credit this is debit this is credit and this is my this number five now let us see what is the impact on the PNL and balance of this so change in wip is debit right 1000 so i will put here 1000 this is number five change in wip right the second transaction which is credit and it's part of the balance sheet earlier i had wip here now let's do total here also so i'm getting 2000 here now this wip is credit so i have to show here number five minus one thousand so now if you see uh, the balance of pnl is nullified two thousand credit two thousand debit okay so balance of and in in your in your uh, balance sheet finally you got the asset of one thousand which is your finished product course so here so this was a simple example just to explain the impact of wip in your PL and balance sheet i hope you learned something so if you have any questions please uh, ask me in comment or email me okay i will try to answer i'll just kept it simple example uh, in the next video we'll try to see impact of variance as well okay so thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video till then bye